Oh, again, I keep eating it. So super, super. Oh my god, I'm mad. Losh, are you listening to me? Oh god, it smells so good. Hi guys, it's Sarah. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really, really well wherever you are. Today in Newcastle, it is a launch day for Lush Easter. It sounds crazy to say because literally only like last month it was Mother's Day launch. Um, but the Easter stuff is here and oh my god, I can't wait to share it all with you. Hopefully, the boiler man doesn't show up whilst I'm recording this. Um, so if I nip off, that'll be because he's here. But if you like the sound of Easter stuff, then this is the video for you because oh my god, there is so much nice stuff. There is so much nice stuff for everyone. Anyway. Let's jump straight into it. So, I've got my notes in front of me like I normally do. The first thing I'm gonna do is now, normally I wouldn't show a gift first, but this gift set was so cute that I had to get it, and it actually has some contents in it um, that I wanna show you anyway. So, this is the Bunny's Picnic gift set. I absolutely love the design so much. It is a little lunchbox. I love collecting the lunch boxes from Lush. This is just the best thing ever and I just love this little psychedelic happy bunny. So it is 34 pounds and you get quite a few things in here actually. So I'm gonna take you through everything. So the first thing is you get a cute little card inside that says, it weighs as much as sound and light and can be carried day and night. It's trade is magic, dig down deep for you'll still have as much to keep. And where you give it grows and grows until one day it overflows. And that's by Liz Brownlee. So I think that's really cute. I like the little touch of the poems now that seem to be in the, um, in like gift sets and in the bath bombs and things like that. But this is the inside and so the first thing is we've got a, a returner which is gummy bear shower jelly now we've got this last year he's so cute I'm gonna take him out for you to have a, a little look at so oh my god dribbling so cute smells absolutely unreal so super super oh! Smells so, so fruity. Obviously, I'm now covered in orange. It smells so, so fruity. Literally like jelly babies, gummy bears. It's like a Haribo treat. It's almost like orangey and peachy and just yummy. I'm gonna go quickly wash my hands. Classic, just started already and I've gotta go wash my hands. One second. Okay, I'm back. So only that tiny bit on my hands had loads of bubbles. It smells really strong. It's kind of like passion fruity, orangey peachy it's just tropical and delicious and I've got one from last year so it's nice to have another one and it's if you like a strong smelling fruity smell this is going to be the one for you and I'll talk about the gummy bear ingredients it is a uh, glycerin coconut milk and um, you've got carrageen extract you've got f uh, fresh mango juice but you oil cardamom oil let's see kabeba oil sweet wild orange oil water titanium dioxide gardenia extract so it smells like mango shower gel from um, Diwali range. It just smells so so good and the gummy bear would be six pounds to buy in the shop. And then we've got watermelon lip scrub. So this literally tastes like watermelon and if you love the smell of this, if you loved bouncing Santa shower jelly at Christmas, you're gonna love the taste of this. It is super like watermelon chipper chips essentially. Uh, this one's more moisturizing than say bubble gum as well. So if you're wanting a lip scrub that has more moisture in and you wanna try a new flavor, you know, it might be worth getting this gift set, but this has got caster sugar, organic jojoba oil, maple butter, oak kernel oil, watermelon seed oil, bergamot oil, rose oil, citric acid, and titanium dioxide. And again, if you like watermelon smells, you wanna stay tuned because there's something else that is watermelon scented coming up. Then we have got the carrots. Okay, so you might be thinking, I remember carrots from years gone by and it was in a bunch. Well now, they come, oh god I can't hold them all, 
in rainbow format so you can buy them individually so if your favorite color is purple or green or blue you don't have to be stuck with just pink you can just buy the colors that you want they're individual they're three pounds each and it has the same beautiful smell as carrots it's really sweet and yummy so if you've had um snowman shower jelly if you've had um oh let me have a think what else is there the follow the white rabbit bath bomb which i'm going to show you in a second from last hello um last halloween last um easter if you have had carrot bubble bars or the purple carrot shower gel that you got in the kitchen box this is the same smell so these are reusable bubble bars so you're going to hold them under hot running water and you're going to get loads of bubbles so you've got pink which comes in the gift set purple red orange green blue and yellow so you've got the whole rainbow there as well um and they smell so so good so i'm gonna put this over here okay with the carrots um they've all got the same ingredients the only difference is obviously the colors that go into it but essentially you've got cream um you've got sodium carbonate cream of tartar glycerin bergamot oil butchu oil sicilian lemon oil and carrot powder um so yeah let me know what color you're gonna have in your bath because i'm i'm team purple i'm, a, I'm purple sarah i love purple then we've got um toby's magic cow so it smells like milky bath popping candy loads of rainbow colors a little bit of sparkle you can't go wrong with toby's magic cow and then last but not least which you can also buy individually for the easter range that's come out is follow the right follow the white rabbit not the right rabbit follow the white rabbit so really really cute again pastel rainbow color pop and candy so and of course the carrot smell it smells really strong and i just love his little face it's so cute these little paws look at these little paws so again perfect little easter treat for people that if you're treating yourself or for the kids so your ingredients for the uh follow the right rabbit sodium bicarb citric acid pop and candy titanium dioxide cream of tartar bergamot oil butchu oil uh, Sicilian lemon oil, uh, water, cornstarch. It just smells so good. And again, if you want a bit of fun, uh, you can't go wrong. And they would be uh, four pounds to buy individually if you want to not get the gift set and just get the individual things. And uh, if I haven't already said, this gift set um, is thirty-four pounds, and you get one, two, three, four, five things in it. You're gonna get about four baths out of the bath products, along with the uh, the shower stuff and the lip scrubs. So yes, that is the gift set that I just wanted to show you because I had some of the other bits in there. We've got a returning bath product, and that I know a lot of people like. This is flamingo egg. Oh my god, a match! I did, honestly did not mean to coordinate, I coordinate my eyes with my jumper, but I didn't mean to coordinate with the bath bomb. That's pretty cool, isn't it? <laughs> they look the same. Camouflage. Um, so this, oh, don't eat it all. So this one is uh, obviously pink and blue. You've got lots of different iridescent sparkles on here and it smells like foam bananas. So it's the same smell as Elfie Stick bubble bar from a few Christmases ago. Um, so if you really like those sweet shop sort of a scent, um, this is definitely gonna be the one for you. It's very foamy, turns the bath the most beautiful shade of purple and it obviously makes absolutely stunning bath art. It is five pounds for this bath bomb and you get in here oh, oh my god what is today sodium bicarb citric acid coarse sea salt lab dan and resonoid sicilian lemon oil vetivert oil water titanium dioxide cornstarch and talc so obviously anything with sea salt in it's going to really soothe achy muscles so and soften the skin so obviously i know kids don't necessarily think of like the benefits of sea salt but if you do have yourself or family members or kids that are quite active getting a little bit of sea salt in will help with that as well and it smells oh god i'm making a right mess and it smells amazing okay so next up is golden egg which is a bath melt and bath bomb in one so it's a little bit different to previous years it's the same as last year so it's got pink inside of it so it's nice and foamy adds a bit of color to the bath and um, whilst moisturizing the skin it is the same smell as honey i washed the kids so really really sweet syrupy caramelly now this is vegan so if you do miss the smell of honey and enjoying a honey scented bath you can have it because it is vegan there is no honey in it it just smells so good 
If you love glitter, this is gonna be the one for you. Golden Egg is so sparkly. Obviously all the glitter is biodegradable, but it is so, so sparkly. If you don't like glitter, it might not be the one for you uh, because it is so sparkly. I do miss the old format of golden egg, the golden potato, um, because it just had a little bit more cocoa butter on it. But the reason why I didn't get it was just purely because I wanted to try some new stuff. But it is £4.50 um, for this bath bomb. Okay, something new, and this is my favourite thing from the bath range that has come out this year, and I love it so much. This is Ostara, um, and it is a bright pink, massive bunny bath bomb. Look at the size of that. It's huge. Oh, again, I keep eating it, and it smells just like What's Up Doc shower gel from last year. Like, your mouth floods when you smell it. It's so fruity and kind of strawberry and 90s nostalgia, laces, just mm, I want to eat it. I mean don't eat it because it won't taste nice but it smells so good. This bath bomb is a super slow fizz bath bomb. Lovely and foamy, creates amazing bath on. The water looks really good, like really, really good. Um, and again, if you like the sweet, strong smells, if you're missing a little bit of Snow Fairy and you want something to kind of fill your sweet tooth, this is the bath for you. It's seven pounds. You get sodium bicarb, citric acid, bergamot oil, lime oil, violet leaf absolute, soybean flour, uh, titanium dioxide, and talc. Oh my God, a little bit of violet leaf. I obviously love violet so it's so nice to have something with violet in it but I love this it's really heavy and I'm definitely gonna grab a little bit more of that oh my god I've got bath bomb everywhere next up is another really really cute one Tenny Penny look at her she is so cute just being the cutest little hen there is and obviously smells amazing this bubble bar smells just like Sultana of Soap or Blackberry Bath Bomb. So very, again, fruity, but like a milder fruity smell. She does have a little bit of gold shimmer on. I don't know how much you can see because she's got a little bit of the, the white powder on her there to stop her from sticking in her mold. But she smells so, so good. And obviously, if you are a fan of Blackberry Bath Bomb or Abracadabra reusable bubble bar and you miss that smell, Henny Penny is for you. She is £5.50. You get sodium bicarb, cream of tartar, uh, olibanum oil, bergamot oil, acorn powder and titanium dioxide. So that is all of the bath items. Please let me know which ones you like the sound of and what ones you're going to grab. Definitely going to be picking up more of the Astara because it just smells so good. I love What's Up Doc. Do I, did I use all my What's Up Doc? Or do I have some left? I, I really can't remember but I love What's up, dog? And I'm so glad that it's in another product in a different format with that smell. It smells so good. Okay, so we've got two new bars of fun. We have I Believe in Unicorns, and we also have Here There Be Dragons. I don't know why I want to say Here There Be Dragons, like I'm a pirate. I feel like a, a pirate wouldn't be finding dragons. They would be finding sunken treasure, but here there be dragons. So the I Believe in Unicorns fun is the same smell as unicorn poop um, bath bomb or cocktail uh, shower gel perfume. So very bougie. I like the juxtaposition between the poop and the beautiful smell. It is pink, gold, and white. If you don't know what fun is, fun is like Play-Doh for the bath, so you can kind of like mold it into loads of different shapes. You can play with it, and then you can wash with it, you can shampoo with it, you can make bubble bath with it if you're grown up. It's really good to shave with. You get a really wicked close shave with it. Um, you don't get no fuzzy strips, because you can see where you've been. Um, you don't need a lot as well. A little goes a very, very long way. Uh, it's nine pounds 50, and it is, you've got cornstarch, talc, glycerin, bergamot, oil, Devana oil, Jasmine Absolute, Ylang Ylang oil and titanium uh, dioxide with this synthetic flora 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 guide. And then the next fun is the Here There Be Dragons, I can't not say it, also 950 purple with golden luster all over it, pink and orange. This has got talc, cornstarch, glycerin, Sicilian lemon oil, bergamot oil, jasmine absolute, titanium dioxide, synthetic fluorofluoroguide. Can you guess what it smells like? It smells like dragon's egg. 
do you know what it is? They both smell really good. I had a cheeky little smell. Um, the only reason why I didn't get any fun this time was, even though I love fun so much to shave with, is that I just got loads of like body wash type products, and I want to save the body wash stuff that I've not used before, or that I'm trying to. Well, I'm trying to finish up body body wash stuff. Um, but yeah, I've just got a lot of stuff like that, and I, I just want to make my way through it. But great for kids, nice little Easter present, nice alternative to sweets, get some creative as well, and obviously they can have a wash with it in bubble bath. So there's more of a sweet sort of smell, and there's more of a citrusy sort of a smell. Dragon's Eggs kind of smells like sherbet lemons. It smells really, really good. And um, your unicorn poop and... It smells like a fruity, fresh, no, a fruity, sweet floral. It smells really good. It smells posh, but also like quite girly and fun. I love the smell of it. Okay, and I swear, honestly, right, I feel like, Losh, are you listening to me? Are you listening to me? Because I have been banging on about like a thicker body scrub, like a pasty body scrub. And they've come out with the Celebrate Foaming Body Scrub. This, it says, our take on luxurious champagne bathing experience. An effervescent scrub to get you glowing and leave you feeling like a million bucks. This stuff, I mean, it is neon yellow, right? It is unreal. When I tried this, I literally went, whoa! Because the foam that it produces was quite, it was quite shocking. If you've tried um, Bright and Beautiful and that foaming action, it is exactly like that. They are not kidding around when they say it is foaming. So the smell, it smells really fresh and citrusy. They say it's celebrate scented, but I'm getting ectoplasm. And I don't know about anybody else. Like it's obviously bright yellow, like ectoplasm. It really smells like ectoplasm over celebrate, in my opinion. Which I know, I don't mind the smell of ectoplasm. Ectoplasm is like freshly squeezed oranges, which would make sense because obviously a bit like Book's Fizz, which is also celebrate uh, scented. You know, it, it all kind of links together, but I definitely feel like this smells like um, ectoplasm. And I really want other people to smell it to tell me what they think. But it is so thick. I'm, I don't know how we, because it looks, look, right? It is amazing. I'm going to insert a demo somewhere around here for you guys to see the foaming action because it is incred. So the ingredients. And the one thing that I love about this is that it's not a scrub like bamboo. It's not a scrub like almond. It is the same scrub that is in Don't Look At Me. It is ground white rice. So when you kind of put it on, if you've ever used Don't Look At Me, it doesn't really feel like it's there but when you go to wash it off oh my god the scrub is insane my hands when i use this my face when i use don't look at me so soft so it is absolutely gorgeous so you've got the top ingredients so, so the ingredients are sodium bicarbonate sunflower oil citric acid organic cajoba oil ground white rice cornstarch soya oil candelilla wax japan wax um sweet wild orange oil and lime oil i would really really like this formula to be in other smells if they did a snow fairy one like this hell yes because honestly the texture is amazing the feeling is amazing you don't feel dry or stripped or tight or anything like that you just feel soft okay i need to stop going on and on about this but you know how i feel about body scrubs it's just the best thing ever so that's 14 pounds oh my god if they did toil and trouble in this format I would wet my pants. So what I would say is if you are looking for a new body scrub and you want to try something, please go to your nearest store and get a sample of this because it is so good, the scrub. Um, so it's £14 for that. And obviously, don't forget, guys, if you've got empties, bring your empties with you. 50 pence off at the till for all full-size empties that you bring in. 5 pence for the little samples. So if you've got any hanging around, bring them in and get some money off your haul. <laughs> Just want to get that straight in there because that's exactly what I've done. Next up, oh my God, oh my God, right. This shower range is so good. <laughs> so, obviously, yes, celebrate. This, I mean, sneak peek, golden egg shower gel. It is freaking amazing, right? It smells so good. And I don't know how well you can see the luster in here. I'm hoping that my lights pick it up. Don't look at me. No one wants to look at me. Look at that. 
when you pour this the shimmer is absolutely out of this world it is mesmerizing this is like they've made golden egg but into the shower gel so you might be thinking but Sarah I thought the UK was getting spheres so a lot of feedback came back to Lush about the spheres and um, so they took the decision to actually not put the golden egg into spheres but to put it into bottles so it comes in three sizes 100 gram uh, 250 gram well it says 300 grams and then the big 500 gram bottles so 100 grams is seven pounds uh, 300 grams is 14 pounds and then your 590 gram bottle is 23 pounds it is exactly the same smell as um, your golden egg bath bomb or your shoot for the stars um, bath bomb. Honey, I wash the kids scented. It is caramel. But this, oh God, it smells so good. People have been asking me because I posted a little teaser of this on my Instagram. Sarah, what is this like in comparison to Honey, I Wash the Kids Shower Gel? This smells more like the body spray. It smells more like Shoot for the Stars bath bomb than the Honey, I Wash the Kids Shower Gel. Um, it is, in texture-wise, let's pour a little bit out so you guys can see. It's a little bit runnier. I don't know how well you can see the gold dripping off there. It's a little bit runnier. It obviously will leave your hands and body lovely and sparkly. And of course, I'm going to go wash my hands. That smells so good. Like it smells so good. You can, can you feel the glitter? You can feel the glitter a little bit. Sorry, it's quite windy where I am and I've got the window open just for a bit of air. So if you hear any rustling, windy noises, that's why. Okay, so I've washed my hands. Smells unreal there is sparkles on my hand uh, nothing too much but i know my friend eileen she used it and she was very sparkly obviously everybody's different if you don't like glitter this is not the one for you if you are not vegan but you but you end up smelling this and you think oh i like this go for the honey i wash the kids shower gel it's ever so slightly different even though it's the same scent family honey i wash the kids shower gel has floral infusions in it so you can pick up a little bit more of the floral infusions within it um but this smells really really good if you are vegan and you miss honey i wash the kids please pick up a bottle of this because it smells great if you love shoot for the stars if you want a more true representation of the honey i wash the kids scent go for this so the ingredients glycerin water fine sea salt lactic acid bergamot oil brazilian orange oil titanium dioxide gardenia extract and then you've got synthetic fluorofluoroguide and tin dioxide i mean there's so much sparkle in here i just can't wait to use it and become just a golden egg essentially it smells so good and if you've got honey i wash the kids uh, shampoo bar or if you've got like the body spray you're gonna smell amazing if you have like a bit of yog nog body conditioner left over oh my god you're gonna smell like a mars bar you're gonna smell so good these two are my favorite products from the range overall uh one because I'm really buzzing that a solid scrub has come out. The last time I like a more thicker, solidy sort of a scrub. I say solid, it's in a pot and it's scrubbable, but more like a paste scrub was the cookie dough scrub, um, which was nice, but this feels much, much better. Um, I just hope that there's going to be more smells in it, but this is hands down the best thing, the best thing. Oh my God. So I've got something really cute here, but also something really exciting for... People who miss a certain soap, if you miss Rockstar Soap, you are going to lose your mind because Rock Bunny is here. Absolutely unreal. So cute. In that Rockstar creamy candy scent, he's jamming away on his guitar with his little cute starry sunglasses. Being a super, super cool dude, but creating bubblegum deliciousness. It smells so good. You almost feel a little bit bad using him because he's so cute. And I know a lot of people who love Snow Fairy will really enjoy this soap. And I know a lot of people who miss Rockstar soap are going to really fill their boots and absolutely love this because it, it smells so good. I, I still don't know why Rockstar got discontinued. Um, but if you miss Rockstar soap, it is back. Um, so in your Rockstar Rabbit, which is £6, you get... Water, glycerin, fair trade organic cocoa butter, extra virgin coconut oil, organic castor oil, um, titanium dioxide, vanilla absolute. Sweet, delicious, mm mm mm. 
go grab it if you miss it. And one that I haven't picked up because, like I say, watermelon is not the smell for you, for me, not for you. This is Rainbows and Waterfalls and it is absolutely stunning. I've seen this in real life. It is beautiful. That rainbow gradient, it is good and it is strong. Again, if you love a strong smelling soap, this is the one for you. It literally smells like bursting watermelons. It is so, so juicy and it smells just like the watermelon lip scrub, bouncing Santa shower jelly. It smells unreal. So the ingredients in here, rapeseed oil, coconut oil, marshmallow root decoction, glycerin, water, rice bran oil, fresh watermelon juice, bergamot oil, rose oil, titanium dioxide. So you're going to have a lovely creamy, rich lather in here. It just is spectacular. I just wish I liked water. I love the taste of watermelon. I just wish I loved the smell of watermelon. Um, and that is six pounds. Now I don't know because the Mother's Day soaps are six pounds per hundred grams. This is a slice. Um, so it just depends on how they're going to do it. Are they going to do it per hundred grams? Are they going to do it per slice? I'm not too sure. Um, but right now I just want to tell you it looks as good as the picture in real life. And if you like watermelon smells, go go grab a bit or go smell it it's, you've got to smell it to believe it also something really cool about this um if you haven't tried candy rain uh, conditioner the candy rain conditioner has um rainwater collected from pooling it this soap also has rainwater collected from pooling it how cool is that reusing stuff not taking more from the system reusing and um, something so i i love that as well i just wanted to share that little bit about how it has collected rainwater in from Dorset. Last but not least in the individual item is the newest lip balm. This is Lush Lip Butter. Comes in a little plastic lip balm tube so if you like the twist up style over the kind of the metal circular um, ones this will be a one for you. I absolutely loved carrot lip oil from last year. I love the cinnamon stick oil from Christmas Gone. So the Lush Lip Butter nice and moisturizing it's five pounds so you have got organic castor oil organic jojoba oil glycerin sunflower wax candelilla wax fair trade organic shea butter um you've got fenugreek absolute brazilian orange oil tajitis oil almond essential oil vanilla absolute I don't know why I said that in a weird way. Vanilla Absolute, Sesame Seed Absolute, Carob Resonoid and Stevia. It has a very light smell. I haven't picked it up just because I've got the cinnamon oil, uh, cinnamon roll oil uh, from Christmas and I wanted to use that up. It's just very, very moisturising and it has like a sort of like a honey flavour to it but without having honey in it. So again, if you're vegan and you want that kind of, kind of sweet honey-ish sort of a taste but without having honey in it, this is the one for you. And again, all those ingredients, super moisturising. So if you suffer from chapped lips, especially because we're kind of coming from like winter into spring, it's going to be the good one to try out. And of course, that little tube is also part of the Bring It Back scheme as well. So if you didn't know, obviously, the mascara, the plastic lip balm tubes, the old plastic lipstick tubes, they're all part of the recycle scheme as well. So if you've got those hanging around, when they're all done, rinse them out and bring them in to get your money off. Okay, so now that is all of the individual items gone. I know we've talked about our gift because we're on a gifting now. I'll briefly touch on that in a second just to remind you. But now we've got the gifts. The gifts for Easter this year, each one is stunning. Like, I love the way each bit of packaging looks. Um, it's very much my vibe. Every single gift is very much my vibe. So it's going to be kind of cute and very brightly coloured essentially. So the first gift is let's be excellent to each other. So you've got all these neon jazzy eggs all over this gold box with a bright green ribbon. You've got a, a flamingo egg bath bomb and a golden egg bath meld bath bomb. That is £12. So again, a nice little present for someone um, if you're gifting an alternative to chocolate this year. Um, it'll last a bit longer than chocolate, that's for sure. Then, oh, this one has an exclusive. So this one, Happy Easter. Oh my God, it's got so many bunnies on it. Oh my god, I love the paper. I want to keep the paper. I want all the paper. It's £19 and in here you've got the Rock Bunny uh, soap, you've got the Follow the White Rabbit bath bomb, but you've got an exclusive which is the Confetti Lip Scrub. That came out a couple of Easter's ago and you can only get it in a birthday party at the moment. It tastes unreal. 
So you've got like um, sprinkles in it and it tastes a mixture of birthday cake and those pink and blue bubble gums from like the 90s. It literally tastes delicious. So if you like a very sweet, a sweet sort of bath or sweet smell, sweet taste, this is the gift for you or for someone who you're gifting to. It's very, very good and that's £19. I love that lip scrub. I really wish that lip scrub was all year round. This box, so obviously not including this tin behind me, but this gift, oh my God, a very happy lush Easter. The packaging on this, oh my God, snails, uh, ladybirds, mushrooms, you got little daffodil people going like, ooh, like it is so cute. It's all bath, you've got the henny penny bubble bar, you've got a yellow carrot bubble bar, you've got a flamingo egg bath bomb and a folder white rabbit bath bomb. So you're gonna get uh, one, two, uh, four, six baths, I would say, out of this, out of this set. It's 24 pounds and I think you get as well, do you get stickers in this one or badges? I think you get badges in this one. Yes, you get a set of recycled plastic badges as well. So again, you've got stuff for after the bath as well. It's just really cute. And if you're wanting to gift a bath gift that's fun or you want to share, you know, if, you, if you've got four kids and you want to share something out, they get a badge each and they get a bath product each. So yeah, love that. Then obviously we've got the Bunny's Picnic tin gift that we've talked about six uh, well sorry five items plus the collector's tin 34 pounds again a mixture of bath shower and body with the lip scrub they have outdone themselves on the knot wraps they have outdone themselves on the knot wraps this year yeah so the first one and you know they've outdone them when you've bought nearly all of them so the first one oh my god Look at this. This is the same uh, sort of design as the Very Lush Easter. I love this one here. Look at this little one sitting here like, hey, I'm cute. I'm just chilling. Uh, yeah, snails, flower people, happy suns, ladybirds, having a munch, mushrooms, rainbows, clouds, everything. I love it. It's made from the fairly traded Indian organic cotton with made by Rewrap. Um, and that is, I think it's going to be six pounds. I'll double check. And then we've got this one. This one that's called Flower Buds. This one's called Fluorescent Springtime. They ain't wrong. That's all I'm going to say. So you've got the two hairs. You've got the sleepy cloud. You've got some mushrooms. It's so bright. I wonder if this is like UV reactive. I'm going to get some canvas canvases. I think from the from the works from the works, and I think I'm going to make these into art because I really want to like redo this backdrop. Um, so I want to get these on here. This is unreal. So obviously with knot wraps, you can do, you know, you can rewrap gifts. You can do presents. You can take your lunch. You can do whatever you want with them. Um, I've got scrunchies made out of knot wraps um I've, my mom's made cushions out of knot wraps i've seen clothes made out of knot wraps you can do whatever you want with knot wraps they are so versatile that one as well is made out of the fair trade indian organic cotton the other one that i didn't pick up pick up but i did like is the warped check and it reminds me there was a lot of clothes last year with this color scheme and the checky pattern this is a smaller one and it is made with from recycled plastic bottles um, but it's a nice green colour. We've got two um, locker papers. We've got the bunny locker paper. Oh my god, that is so cute. Oh, that is so sweet. Um, and we've also got the springtime wildlife which I love. Oh my god, it's got badgers, foxes, bunnies, uh, frogs. I say frogs. Oh my god, that's stunning. Well, I don't know why that's not a knot wrap. Or, oh my god, can we just have some more tote bags? I would love some more tote bags. Um, but that is everything. It has been such a beautiful collection um, of really just lovely things. Uh, really loads of colourful things. I'm all about colour. So to have lots of vibrancy, it just ticks every box. Um, I do really like that very lush Christmas box. So I think... I might be tempted to, or the um, be excellent to each other. No, not be excellent to each other. Hoppy, Hoppy Easter. That's the one with the little bunnies on. I love that so much. But yes, please let me know what your favourite things were from this collection. What do you think you're going to pick up? What do you like? What are you unsure about? Let me know down below. 
I'm a bit overwhelmed. Um, if you like this video, give it a little thumbs up. And if you really liked it, you can subscribe to the channel. We're on our way to 4,000 subscribers. I do have a giveaway. It's open for another couple of days. It's on until the 4th of March. I will leave that at the end for you guys if you want to go enter. All the instructions are on there. It's dead easy to do. Um, we've had nearly about 130 people enter. Uh, I just really want to give back to you all. There's stuff from Lush. There's stuff from this makeup, beauty based skincare, body care. Um, there's gift sets from Lush, there's exclusive items, yeah, there's loads of stuff and it's open internationally as well. Um, you can follow me on social media here if you want to and what I thought this on a side note was that I'm going to make my TikTok a little bit different to my Instagram. I'm going to focus more on health and fitness on TikTok. Let me know what you think about that. And YouTube will recommend some videos at the end, including the giveaway as well. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a smashing day and I'm gonna see you in the next video. I'll probably look like this, to be honest, in the next video. See you later, bye.